मेथड्स ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन इन द प्रीवियस लेसन वी हैव लर्न फाइंडिंग इंटीग्रल्स ऑफ फंक्शंस बाय इंस्पेक्शन दैट इज बाय सर्चिंग अ फंक्शन एफ हुज डेरिवेटिव इज एफ एक्स Finding integral by method of inspection is not suitable for many functions. The three important methods of finding integration are number 1 integration by substitution. Number 2 integration using partial fractions. Number 3 integration by parts. Now let us learn integration by substitution. The given integral f(x) dx can be transformed into another form by changing variable x to t by substituting x is equal to gt. dx by dt is equal to g dash t. dx is equal to g dash t dt. Thus, integral f x dx is equal to integral f of g t into g dash t d t. It is important to guess meaningful substitution. X is equal to g t. Let us take an example. Find integral of cos 3x. Cos 3x is a composite function of two functions. cos and 3x so we will make substitution for second function that is 3x let 3x is equal to t now differentiating with respect to t we will get d by dt of 3x is equal to d by dt of t using chain rule d by dx of 3x into dx by dt is equal to 1 3 dx by dt is equal to 1 or dx is equal to 1 by 3 dt substituting 3x is equal to t and dx is equal to 1 by 3 dt in original integral we will get integral of cos t into 1 by 3 dt It is now a simple integral of cos t, which is equal to one by three sine t plus c. Substituting three x is equal to t, or t is equal to three x back, we will get integral of cos three x dx is equal to one by three sine three x plus constant c. We will now discuss some important integrals involving trigonometric functions and solving them using substitution method. Let us find integral of tan x by using substitution. Tan x is equal to sin x by cos x. So integral of tan x is equal to integral of sin x by cos x dx. Now let us make substitution. Cos x is equal to t. On differentiating, d by dx of cos x is equal to dt by dx minus sin x dx is equal to dt. Or sin x dx is equal to minus dt. As we can see now in integral. sin x dx is equal to minus dt and cos x is equal to t substituting we will get integral of minus dt by t integral of 1 by t is log t so integral of tan x becomes minus log mod t plus c substituting back t is equal to cos x We will get minus log of cos x plus c minus log mod of cos x is equal to log of one by cos x or log of sec x plus c. Now remember this integral 
for further use. Similarly, we will find integral of cot x dx. Writing it as cos x by sin x and assuming sin x is equal to t, we will get cos x dx is equal to dt. On substituting, we get integral of dt by t which is equal to log mod t plus c or log of sin x plus c. Now let us find integral of sec x. Here is a trick. There is no point in writing sec x as 1 by cos x. We always find a denominator whose differentiation is numerator. We know d by dx of sec x is equal to sec x tan x and d by dx of tan x is equal to sec square x. So d by dx of sec x plus tan x is sec x tan x plus sec square x. Or taking sec x common, we will get sec x into sec x plus tan x. Here is a trick. If we assume sec x plus tan x is equal to t, we will get sec x sec x plus tan x dx is equal to dt. Keeping this in mind, we will multiply and divide sec x by sec x plus tan x. Now, assuming denominator sec x plus tan x is equal to t, we will get numerator as dt. On substitution, the integral gets simplified to integral of dt by t, which is log mod t plus c. So, integral of sec x dx is equal to log of sec x plus tan x plus c. Similarly, we can find integral of cosec x. Here we will multiply and divide by cosec x plus cot x. Now let us assume cosec x plus cot x is equal to t. On differentiating and rearranging, we will get cosec x into cosec x plus cot x dx is equal to minus dt. So, integral of cosec x dx is equal to integral of minus dt by t, which is minus log mod t plus c or minus log of cosec x plus cot x plus c. Now, simplify it further by multiplying and dividing cosec x plus cot x by cosec x minus cot x. We will get 1 by cosec x minus cot x. So, integral of cosec x become log of cosec x minus cot x plus c.